Na waribifu ulio shudi wakati kabarabara ni Ruby Expressway unakadiriwa kuwa wa kiasi cha shilingi milioni uh, 176. Hayo ni kwa mujibu wa waziri wa uchukuzi Kipchumba Murkomen akihutubia wanahabari katika kituo cha Sikimao baada kutathmini waribifu uliosababishwa katika barabara hiyo Murkomen na amesema kuwa pamoja na waribifu wa barabara ya Expressway vituo vitatu vya, vya reli na mindominu mingine muhimu viliharibiwa wakati wa maandamano. Na kama navyo ripoti mwanabari wetu Alice Diana waziri huyo alisisitiza kuwa waliposhuru na wale walioandaa maandamano hayo ndio watakao gharamikia uharibifu huo. Serikali imekashifu uharibifu uliotekelezwa na vijana wa halifu kwenye miundo msingi kadhaa katika kaunti za Nairobi na Machakos wakati wa maandamano dhidi ya serikali hiyo jana. Kulingana na waziri wa uchukuzi Kipchumba Murkomen, uharibifu uliosababishwa na waandamanaji katika sehemu ya barabara ya Nairobi Expressway unaweza kuwa zaidi ya dola milioni tano, ambazo ni sawia na shilingi milioni 7.6.7. Akizungumza leo hii wakati wa ziara kutathmini uharibifu uliosababishwa na waandamanaji, Murkomen amesema dhamani hiyo ilifikiwa baada ya kukagua maeneo yote yaliyoharibiwa katika barabara hiyo. The people who have been organizing this mass action have told the nation that they are doing so because they want to fight the cost of living. But the damage only done on the expressway could be anything up to for that short, short period of time could be anything up to uh, 5 million dollars and if it reaches that level in one infrastructure i'm not talk about the railway the four railway stations bali na haribifu wa barabara ya expressway waziri mulkomen amesema vituo vitatu vya reli pia viliharibiwa from the sokimau railway station to the stations at uh, pipeline uh, embakasi and uh, one more that is uh, Tobias was there station and Makadara pipeline pipeline and Ma, and, and, and Mukuru uh, those stations as you can see they have been badly damaged uh, the events of yesterday cannot cannot be equated to exercising constitutional right of freedom of uh, uh, movement or uh, information or Uh, political rights as uh, purported by the perpetrators of this very heinous act. Murkomen amesisitiza kuwa serikali itahakikisha wale walioshiriki katika uharibifu huo wanachukuliwa hatua za kisheria. Hadi sasa polisi tayari wamewakamata zaidi ya watu hamsini wanaohusishwa na uharibifu wa barabara ya expressway. We've come here to assure the investors of this uh, very important project that the government of Kenya is going to do everything humanly possible to make sure that we bring all the perpetrators to justice. Fortunately, most of them were captured in camera in the CCTV cameras that were here. We have the footages. Uh, the police have arrested not less than 50 people in relation to the acts that happened here yesterday, but you know we had almost 2000 uh, people operating from here. We will do everything humanly possible. Waziri huyo uchukuzi alisema kuwa uharibifu huo utagaramiwa na mlipa ushuru. As per the agreement we have on Moja Express, the people of Kenya, the taxpayer is going to pay for this damage. We will not allow the already of a burdened wanjiku to pay this on their own. We will make sure that all those who organized this mass action yesterday and this targeted attack are going to personally pay personally pay they will carry vicarious liability for every damage that was caused and for every penny that will be paid from the exchequer they will be asked to indemnify the people of Kenya and they will have to pay hata hivyo albainisha kuwa wizara yake itahakikisha waliopanga maandamano hayo wanalipia fidia ya kiasi kitakacholipwa na mlipa ushuru. Wakati huo huo, serikali imeondoa marufuku ya magari ya huduma za umma kutumia barabara ya Nairobi Expressway mara moja. Waziri wa Uchukuzi Kipchuma Murkomen amesema hatua hiyo inalenga kuimarisha usafiri katika mji wa Nairobi. Uh, today uh, the government of Kenya lifted the ban that was uh, uh, on, on uh, PSV vehicles using 
the expressway. We are now opening it for PSV vehicles that want to use this route. And we want to make sure that we support this infrastructure. Because the future of delivery of infrastructure in Kenya is no longer going to be purely on using taxpayer money. We can use private investments like the Moji Express to do PPP programs that are going to protect the people of Kenya. Alice Diana, Direhop TV.